G'day you good motherfuckers, if you're new here, make sure you press subscribe. There's three new videos every single week. By now you may have heard the phrase or the term critical race theory. I first heard about it a couple of years ago, but it's quickly becoming a constant in the daily discourse across the world. And I believe it soon will be, if Australia follows suit with America, a mainstream topic of conversation both in workplaces, universities and K-12 schools. I honestly find that reprehensible and in this video I'll explain why. In the culture wars that we have descended into over the past decade, whether that be white versus black, men versus women, left versus right, etc, etc. The culture wars, the identity politics, the conversations, the arguments that people define their whole lives on, critical race theory is not only a part of that, but it is everything that is heinous about identity politics and just the division of people across the world. Critical race theory teaches us that the most defining thing about you and every single person on the planet, all 7.8 billion of us, is your race, your skin colour. Where your great great grandfather or grandmother came from, that is the most important thing. How much melanin you have in your skin. Not their intelligence or how much love they have in their heart for other people or their families. It's not how much kindness and compassion they're capable of. The colour of their skin. That's the most important thing. And I know that may sound like people are just proud of their heritage. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. You're allowed to be proud of where your ancestors came from even though we all came from the same fucking place if you go back far enough. But anyway, critical race theory is the idea that the majority population, which in this case, in the first world, the majority population as far as race is concerned is white people. The majority population are inherently racist. Everything they do, every single day, is built on racism. And everything in their world that benefits them, in this case as a white person, is built to oppress people who do not look like them. It is the idea that everything we love, we utilize, we work with on a daily basis in our world is built on the back of white supremacy and not just built on the back of it, but continues to benefit from white supremacy till this day, till this very second. And before the people who watch this channel just to get offended or to whinge on Twitter, before you freak the fuck out and you switch off because I'm a beneficiary of white privilege, of white male privilege, of straight white male privilege, fucking hashtag BLM, he slash him, all that shit, all right? We have things in this world, so many things in this world that are built on the back of racism. And we still unfortunately have racists. Racism fucking sucks and everyone should treat everyone equally regardless of their fucking skin colour. But that's the opposite of what critical race theory is. It makes skin colour the most important thing. To make people focus on that above all else. If you don't believe me, spend 10 minutes on Twitter watching a white person tweet about something that they're not allowed to talk about, like defund the police or Black Lives Matter, you will see critical race theory in action. The first thing people attack in these arguments are people's skin colour, not their intelligence, not the research they've done or their life experience, just their skin colour. So why does it matter? Well, the only other time I've seen this desperation for obsession of people's skin colour was some bunch of crazy fucks in the 20s up until the 40s who were just obsessed with white people and they followed some fucking nutbag with a tiny moustache and a penchant for evil. Race is cool. It tells a story of where you came from and the experiences that the generations before you had, but it's not the be all and end all. Get over yourself. It certainly doesn't make you inherently evil and it definitely doesn't make you the victim of everything. We have real work to do, particularly in Australia and a lot of other first world countries when it comes to barriers dictated by race. According to the Australian Human Rights Commission, the average life expectancy for Aboriginal Australians is almost 10 years less than white Australians. That is a problem that we we must fix. One in five Aboriginal women have experienced physical violence in the last 12 months. That's something we must fix. In 2008, over half of all Aboriginal people aged over the age of 15 had some form of disability. That is a problem we must fix. As for incarceration, it's 15 times higher in the Indigenous community than the white community. These are race-based issues that we as a country and a community of the world must try to fix. But critical race theory isn't that. Critical race theory dictates 
That if you're a white person working in a service station and another white person walks in and a black person walks in at the same time and you serve that white person first, you did it because you are inherently racist and you're trying to help your own kind out. And if you serve the black person first, this is fucking hilarious, you are also racist because you're worried about them stealing because all black people steal. That's fucking insane. This is what critical race theory is teaching the children of today who will be the lawmakers of tomorrow, and that is fucking terrible. It is the idea that everything you do as a white person, even your subconscious thoughts, are inherently racist. And there's nothing you can do about it. And that's why I think, and what they're doing in America, introducing it into the curriculum in schools and universities is a fucking terrible idea. Why the fuck would a child care what colour someone is? Or what they are? They shouldn't. Teaching young white children that they're inherently evil and there's nothing they can do about it? What a fucking terrible lesson that is. Demanding that they apologise for the things their ancestors did? Things that they would never do. That's ridiculous. And they need, and I think this is the worst one of all, they need to feel sorry, pity, for people who are different colours to them. Conversely, it teaches kids who are a part of the cultural minority, whatever the fuck that means, that they will never succeed because of their skin colour. That they'll always be treated with racism because of the way they look. Don't bother trying because evil white people will always beat you down. What a terrible lesson that is. Critical race theory is being taught right now in universities in America. Okay, and it, we know that universities are breeding grounds for shit dumb ideas. Like queer studies, women's studies, <laughs> fat studies, all that shit. It's also beginning to make the trickle down into high schools. Happening today, Florida's Board of Education will vote on a proposal that, if passed, would place new rules on how American history is taught in public schools. Supporters say the move would combat the controversial concept known as critical race theory. And they're already talking about putting it into primary schools and they have a curriculum dedicated to it. It's being implemented in states like California, huge states in America. Like anything to do with identity politics, this is being driven by the fucking crazies, the most superior of the social justice warriors. The the wokest of the wokes and they will not stop until it is being taught everywhere in the world. And like Australia does with everything else, we're only a few years behind America with fucking everything. We just are. That's how we operate. And it's my fear that this will be introduced into universities here, then high schools, then primary schools. It is a shit way to live your life and it will not bring us together. All it will do is fucking tear us apart. And that's terrible. That is awful. That is not what we want. Judge a person not by the colour of their skin, but the content of their character. That is a fucking lesson that we need now more than ever. Ladies and gentlemen, be a good motherfucker. Peace in the Middle East. Me dick stinks. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe and press like. Toodaloo, au revoir. Bye bye.